sense of uh, alienation of the South, it's not about North versus South, let me be very clear. I was not very keen on contesting. <laughs> Prior to contesting, I was not very keen on contesting, but I think once you contest, uh, you contest to win. And I'm a serious politician. I don't play around with my career. So I'm here to win and I'm a competitive uh, public figure. So this seat was uh, uh, in the JDS basket only for one reason, that uh, both parties wanted uh, Honorable former Prime Minister Sri Devagoda to contest from here. And once he chose to contest from Tumkur, so there was no local standby for this seat to uh, uh, be fielded a candidate by JDS. So they themselves uh, said that a congressman should contest. My individual desires aside, I think uh, when elders and my colleagues uh, make a suggestion, I am morally bound to uh, respect that. So, yes, it was a bit of a last minute, uh, but uh, you know, we have uh, a massive, widespread, and deeply uh, 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 ingrained uh, cadre base, both Congress and JDS together. And I think I'm depending on them, and also I'm depending on the goodwill that I enjoy among uh, people of Bangalore. Last uh, several weeks, uh, there has been intense pressure from uh, uh, both Congress people and their allies in the South to, uh, uh, they have requested Rahul Gandhi to contest from South because there is a sense of uh, alienation of the South during the last five years, a sense of neglect among the people of South vis-a-vis uh, uh, -vis the central current central government. Uh, you go to Andhra uh, time and again, uh, people have vented their frustration with the uh, Honorable Prime Minister. You go to Tamil Nadu, you have farmers and uh, general public in Tamil Nadu uh, who have carried out go-back campaigns. Uh, so Karnataka hasn't gotten justice either in last five years. And uh, the sentiments of the South have been uh, really ignored and neglected deliberately during the last five years. So there is a sentiment in the South that uh, Congress uh, is more equitable. It's not about North versus South, let me be very clear. It's about being fair to both North and South. We believe in all parts of India being treated uh, equitably, equitably, but somehow the South has been uh, uh, left out in the last five years. So people in the South feel that uh, Congress would be more equitable in its treatment of all parts of India. So hence there has been pressure on Rahul Gandhi to contest. <laughs>
and he hasn't made any effort from his side to be accessible to general public and he hasn't visited uh, parts of the constituency at all. I will have to see how national politics is different from state politics at this stage, but I can say that, you know, having served in the state assembly for five terms, uh, 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 given the fact that I am serving the fifth time in the state assembly uh, as a member of uh, assembly, and also now I am uh, nearly six years as a minister. So I think this has given me enough uh, experience, uh, confidence and uh, ability to deliver results to be a member of parliament. So whether on the ruling side or on the opposition side, I am confident that I can make meaningful contribution uh, in the parliament. I mean, Congress has about 6,20,000 votes. Uh, from last assembly election in this constituency and JDS has about 353,000 votes. So we do uh, depend to a great extent on the sizable vote base of JDS. And uh, in Bangalore North, uh, we have been working uh, uh, in perfect harmony from day one. So there was uh, even before my candidature, there was perfect unanimity amongst all the leaders of both the parties. So whatever may have happened in, in different parts of Karnataka, but in Bangalore North, uh, there is perfect coordination and uh, the commonality of purpose uh, between both the partners.